Yes. Yeah, dude. All right, start the episode. You think we're going to beat all these games? Nope. Backlog boys. No, probably not. Welcome back to Space Station Silicon Valley Maximum Cheese Edition. Yep. Uh, so if you're smart like me, and you're willing to waste a bunch of time, uh, kill one of these hella bunnies <laughs> as the king penguin by, so much cheese. by sitting on it in the air. Uh, and then you can get one of these guys without having to activate the guns, just so that one of the guns will kill this thing for you to get. And now, I'm just going to be able to easily drop kill bombs everything. on everything, because the huskies can't do anything when you're at max height. There's one. Especially if you're right on top of them. Wait, yeah. did he drop something? No. That's just what he looks like? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a ski sticking out of him. Yeah, he's got skis. Gotcha. This one... This is working really well. <laughs> the one husky in the cavern might be able to do something, but we'll see. This is... If, yeah, if they're at the right angle, they can get you. But. Yeah. And if you're, or if you're low enough, the missiles will find you. Yep. All right. So let's see here. This should be fine. Nice. This music, dude. Just straight jazz. It's just straight jazz. <laughs> There's nothing like... Nothing VGM. Yeah. Nothing, uh, yeah. I mean, other than the fact that it's snowy midi. about it. Yeah. It's kind of snowy. Is it? I think it's like, like a, almost like a holiday tune. I got launched. Yeah, he's maybe a little Vince Guaraldi. Yeah. Dude, I love Vince Guaraldi. He's great. He's... I have that... Uh, if you don't know who that is, that's who does all the music for the Charlie Brown Christmas. Yep. So, um, you I might have, not recognize the name, but you know the music very well. I have like his... Uh, I don't know why I'm getting that. He has like a... There's a live album of him in a... Like a... A band playing... Uh, oh, really? Yeah. It's like... They're playing a bunch of like well, Charlie, Charlie Brown music. He has a trio. He has a trio. Is, is it like a larger than a trio? It might be trio plus backing, like big band. Oh wow, um, it's really good. They, Sounds cool. It's like I. It I'm was. Sure my dad has it somewhere. I listened to it like my whole childhood. Your whole like, as childhood. a kid, I enjoyed it. As a kid. Yeah, it's really good music. Yeah. It's, um, it's good music to like. It was like my find jazz. Palatable. It was like video game music for me before I discovered actual video game music, like. Is this where we started the level? I think so. Why do I not remember this? What the hell? Wait, it said teleporter active, right? Oh, we didn't kill all the huskies, apparently. Okay. <coughs> okay. Alright. So there must be one more lurking. Yeah, somewhere. oh, he's way back at the beginning of the level. Okay. That's right. I remember now. Got any more quotes, Vaughn? Um, another zinger. Another zinger. Before we get through this level, oh, as we listen to our three, six, two, five ones. I have a lot of notes. Holy crap! Five of six for all you music theory nerds. There might be a five of two in this song too. Oh, um, that seems unlikely. We discovered. Uh, we discovered that I really don't like Vince Vaughn jokes. Oh, Austin, yeah. Austin made Vaughn one. got triggered. Well, no, Austin didn't make one. I wasn't you, making a Vince Vaughn but joke. But I thought you were. You thought like, you I said was. said Vince and Vaughn. No, I said Vincent. Oh, you said Vincent Vaughn. Yes. And then I was like... Because, okay, earlier in the day, the, like, the bellhop guy, um, like, took my stuff. I got there way before them. Um, their flight got delayed, like, what, three hours? Two hours? Uh, yeah, quite a bit. Because my, my flight was originally like 50 minutes after yours, but I got I'm there cursed, like apparently. two or three. You, you are. Was your flight on the way back delayed? Or at, by 12 minutes. Okay, by 12. That's not too bad. I should talk about that flight. That was a great flight. Was it? Yeah. Um, But we... So I got there way early, and I just took like public transportation to the hotel and just, you know... Chilled. Chilled for, for a couple hours. Just played some... Several GBA. hours. Yeah. Not just a couple hours. Because you got there several. at like 11 in the morning, right? Like 11.40. Yeah, and we didn't get there till like, what, 4? Wait, my flight was at like 11 something. Was it? Because yours was at like 10 something. We got there at 8. No, our flight was like... Wasn't it? Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Week. You're right. Yeah. But yeah, either way, you you got there like I got one? there before sundown, and I had a couple hours to walk around. and Yeah. Um, 
Something fishy. Uh oh. Free uh, the fish. Switch the switch to open the big door. Switch the switch. Okay. Shoot the eight switches to open the lock. <laughs> Try a somersault. <laughs> Try. All right. <laughs> um. So, but the the bellhop guy takes all my like the the hotel had like a room you could put your stuff in because I couldn't get the room keys. Yeah, which was very nice. We used that, that was very, on was the very way nice. out too. Did you? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Um. So he takes like all my stuff and then has to take down my name to give me like a little slip mm -hmm. to get my stuff back. And he's like, uh, oh, that was a jump. Yeah, dude. Um, got skills. And like he takes down my name and I spell it. And then so he's like, oh, like Vince Vaughn. And I'm like, yeah. Oh. Yeah, like Vince Vaughn. You got mad, mad triggered. Um, he, had, he at least he had like a story to tell. Like he like met Vince Vaughn. Oh, really? And like it was kind of a neat story. And like. Okay. So, but so like I already had my Vince Vaughn joke for the day and I was ready to not have another one. <laughs> And then Austin, <laughs> then Austin, Andy, Al, Steve, or Steve wasn't there yet. He wasn't there yet. Yeah. Tom, come. And then we like, what were we doing? We were just walking around. We were in the up, the upper atrium where the gazebo was at Magfest. Yep. And you had done something that was related to a painting, because I, you had somehow triggered my brain to be thinking about painting. Okay. And I was like, oh, <laughs> Vincent Von Go over here. You know, and all I all I heard was Vincent Vaughn. Yeah, <laughs> and I was like, and you probably heard "go" as like just the verb yeah. "go," like a, like comma "go." Yeah, <laughs> but I was trying to say that he was like Vincent Van Go, and I was saying Vaughn instead of Van, <laughs> and he just got really mad. It's just like, he like shut are you down, <laughs> and I was like, and I was like, what the fuck, dude? You know, like Vincent Van Go, and I like pretended to cut off his ear and I was saying all this stuff about Vincent Van Gogh and he was just not having any of it. <laughs> it was so salty. And then he just told me about the Vince, Vince Vaughn thing and I was like, dude, I said Vincent. And it was just like, it was just so, it was too close <laughs> to not trigger him. I was... He was immensely triggered. I wasn't having <laughs> if, um, So I'm glad it, we got past that because that was day one. Yeah. It, that, Thankfully, no one else made that joke while I was while I was there. No. Um, but like, it gets so old. Yeah. Every, every person says it. And I'm sure like the Austin, Texas thing, for you gets. It doesn't really bother me because I have Texas pride. But um, I don't. I'm not necessarily. Uh, when, Vince, Vince Vaughn pride. The one that the one that's kind <laughs> of annoying is when people say Stone Cold Steve Austin. Okay. Because it's like, dude, that guy's like not even close to cool anymore. Yeah. It. <laughs> I just got like, like you really think I'm named after a wrestler from the late nineties, a fake wrestler, a fake wrestler. Well, I mean, come on. Let's, yes. Let's be honest. Let's let's anyone who's like, who thinks it's real. They're yeah. Just, it's just that's WCW a that's a nitro is not real exposed <laughs> shots fired. Uh, oh, there was a, are these regenerating the, f why are these regenerating? I'm very confused now. What did that little hit mean? Yeah. What? So like, is that the sound of them regenerating? Um. Um. Yep. It must be. Yeah. Yeah, there's that one. So are you in like, what are you going to do? I don't know. Apparently not that. I thought I was using those to like get around and lead me to places I hadn't been before, but apparently not. Um. Just going in circles. So Magfest em embraces memes. Yes, they do. <laughs> um, example one is, well, it was, it was a dead meme. Is the Colossus Roar? Yes, the I Colossus had, Roar. I learned about rip the Colossus Roar. It is cool that to now know the origins because I never knew the origins of the Colossus Roar before. Which was, uh, so there was a panel at Magfest this year, and I don't, I think they said they do it every five years as like an anniversary type thing about like the origins of MAGFest and how it was started and how it was formed. And it was really cool. Um, it was a lot of stuff that I did not know uh, and it was very cool to know. Um, and apparently at like MAGFest, I think three they said. That's a while ago. Uh, yeah. So we're talking very few people. And uh, they apparently a friend of the person running the event donated an X-Men arcade machine. Uh, and if you like a fighting game, or yes, if you've never played X Men Arcade, it's a fantastic arcade game. Uh, there's a six player, uh, two screen, arcade cabinet version. Oh, um, that is like one of one of the very sought after 
uh, arcade cabinets of of yore, and uh, that was the one that was donated to Magfest. And you know now Magfest has like hundreds and hundreds of arcade machines donated, oh, yeah. and it's insane, like, like a warehouse size. But, but room. this was like a big deal back then, and they just set it up in a hallway. And one of the organizers decided, hey, let's turn the volume on this all the way up because MAGFest. <laughs> and so some group of people came along, and this is a six-player game. So there's six characters on the screen instead of your normal, like, two or four. So it's already pretty crazy. And they decided to all choose Colossus. <laughs> and the way, th the way this game works is you have, like, punches and kicks, and then you have a button that's your superpower, or your mutant power, as they call it. Uh, because X-Men. Because X-Men. And it's like your special move that you can only use some of the time, and it, like, damages you, I think. Oh. So you can't just, like... What was that? Looks like a mine. Yeah, it dropped a mine. Uh, so we need to do that and try to hit the walrus. Wow, that's going to be hard. Was that through the wall that I was seeing that? Wow. Okay. Um, um. So I guess I got to wait for this walrus guy to come around and hit him at just the right time. Dude, to push... Oh, I see. Um, but yeah, so there was people playing all as Colossus and spamming the special move the Col that causes the Colossus roar to happen, where he goes, <laughs> <laughs> And so they were all just spamming it, so the hallway so, was so just So the whole hallway was just echoing with that over yeah. and over and over. <laughs> it's Come on, dude. Awesome. Come on. Do I get to press a button and, like, blow it up? Is that what's going on here? Oh, I am the mine. I'm the mine. Holy smokes. Okay. You're miming the mine. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm just going to park it right here. Cool. Uh, and so it became a thing. You know, people were walking through this hallway and just hearing that echoing. Yeah. So then people started imitating it. Um, and, you know, then it became a trend at MAGFest. Yeah, it was probably small enough at that time where everyone who was there heard about it that weekend right it. and yeah, yeah yeah and it quickly became a meme to like yell and imitate the colossus roar and then if you heard it you were obligated to also nice. do it and it like echoes across the convention mm -hmm. and it sucks that it's a dead meme now because the first time i went to magfest and i heard it it was like a magical experience yeah and like a, especially like it. especially like once you realize that it's a thing and you participated in it for the first mm -hmm. time there we go now we got the walrus Got him. Got to get the Eggman after this. No. Ladies and gentlemen. We got him. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's it's not cool to do the Colossus Roar anymore. Uh, anyone, no, it lives on, though. Any, it lives on, for sure. There's still people doing it all the time. I heard a hallway just fill with it. Erupt. Like, definitely. Yeah, and it sounds cool. Yeah. But apparently, only you, you only do that if you're a noob. <laughs> Which I was, but I was warned. Yeah. So... How did he get all the way over here? There was all the other. I think the winners of best meme <laughs> at Magfest this year was definitely Team Skull. Oh my God, Team they Skull awesome. killed it! <laughs> they killed it. Because at one point I was just like going down the escalator and I got to the bottom, and all of a sudden I just hear like a roar, just not a, not a Colossus roar, but like okay, just like noise of okay. like people just like oh just like making noise okay and i turn around and all of team skull is just filling the escalator just like posing dude there must have been like 40 <laughs> to 50 people that were dude, cosplaying they, as team skull they were awesome they were so awesome they all looked really good because it's like a pretty simple costume mm -hmm. and then they it's like basketball shorts like a black tank top and they were always the finding hat. each other yeah they would like, always band together yeah they were always traveling like in a group of at least like two or three and oh man it was so funny and yeah i just turn around and like it's just a bunch of people like kneeling doing like poses, crossing their arms and crossing like their arms saying like, looking, yo yeah and then just like team skull yeah <laughs> it's, like, it's fantastic so fantastic and everyone was like taking pictures everyone then, was into it yeah and then i saw like no one thought it was dumb everyone I, thought it was cool i should have uh i should have posted that picture right away with like a little little tag. Oh, the team skull picture. Because uh, it blew up after the, like the same picture that I had oh, really? taken, not like of what someone else taking it because everyone was taking pictures. Yeah, but uh, it blew up and got oh, like all the fish are dying, like thousands of things. Is that one of our missions? Save the fish, free the fish. Free. Well, they're getting free. <laughs> they're going to heaven. <laughs> We're setting their souls free. Yeah, that's kind of dark. The, the other two. So there was a, a really good Sanic 
cosplay. Oh, there was. Or it's just this guy. Not Sonic. No. But actually, specifically Sonic. Sonic. And he like had just or like a Danky card, Kang. cardboard cutouts of that formed Sonic. And he couldn't wear it like as a mask because it's supposed to be flat and stupid. Yeah. So it was literally just a cardboard cutout, and he's like put it on the side of his head and the side of his body. Yeah. So he always had to cosplay like looking away. Yeah. <laughs> and it was. But it if was you looked at him on. from that side, like it was spot on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was so spot on. Um. And then there was also this dude with a like a full suit on, and then just a giant Illuminati hat. Yeah, dude. And then he like the, walk- the pyramid with the like dollar sign yeah. eyeball. And then he, he and one the next time I saw him, he was walking around with a bag of like or he had like an empty can of Mountain Dew and then like Doritos. Oh, a bag of Doritos. Yeah. yeah, he was basically MLG. He was he the became, cosplay. Yeah, he he went from Illuminati to MLG. Yeah. And that that was that was he, pretty good. He confirmed himself. Yeah. <laughs> he also exposed himself. Yeah. Um that was great. He's probably dead now. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing now. I'm sure the Illuminati offed him. Yeah, they took care of him. <laughs> Jay Z came. Anonymous showed up. Um, yeah, those were those were some good memes. Yep, there's a lot of memes there. Uh, tomorrow on the boys, more memes. More memes. I don't know. Hopefully, I mean, we'll figure out what to do. I dream memes. You dream memes. Like, I don't know what other people do, but look at this kelp, like still flowing like it's underwater but it's not anymore it looks kind of like a starfish no no not that oh next to it well that was also floating this oh that yeah oh i didn't even see that oops tomorrow on the show <laughs>